Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have the biggest, biggest, biggest SUVs on the market. I think it's the biggest SUV I ever reviewed and I sit with the car for around two days and I have to say I'm crazy impressed with how spacious is this SUV that I will present you today. And look there in the back. I mean, it has three row of seats it's a seven seater and it's crazy spacious it's almost like a bus inside here and wait until the end of the video to see how much space you have in the trunk and also how much space you have with the seats folding down it's about the brand new cadillac escalade 2023 version and in this video we will make the full review interior exterior technical data everything about this american suv you will find out in this video it's a such a huge car and you will see that when we go outside and you know that word when you are small or when you think you are small you're driving a big car today if you feel like you are small or if you are small like i am this might be the best car for you let me give you some technical data and some information about the car and then we will start the review first of all guys if you are in romania if you are around romania in bucharest you can see the car you can test drive the car you can buy the car here at pro motors i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice if you want to see the car buy the car test drive the car you can come here and take a look i want to give you some technical data and then we will start with the review so first of all the most important thing is that the price of the car it's 135,000 euro here at pro motor so if you want to buy it just take a look go at them and check out the car but technical data the car come with a 6.2 liter petrol engine v8 it's all-wheel drive system that means the internal combustion engine drive the rear wheel permanently and the front wheel are driving through an electronic or mechanical operated clutch if necessary so you can also choose that i will show you a little bit later how it works but keep in mind it's an all-wheel drive system and we have the all-wheel drive version right here it's connected to a 10 speed automatic transmission hydramatic they call it and the total power of the car it's 420 horsepower 623 newton meters the estimated consumption 14.7 liters and that's the vltp estimated in real life because the car is such a big car and such a heavy probably the consumption will go higher but yeah if you buy this car if you need that space if you need a seven seater perfect seven seater you make this compromise when it comes to space 722 liters and if you fold down all the seats in the back second row and third row you will have up to 3426 liters incredible spacious probably one of the most spacious suv that you can get on the market and when it comes to third row space you will see it's, it's crazy spacious the fuel tank capacity 91 liters and you can pull a trailer of up to 3629 kilograms with brakes this is important it's pretty pretty powerful car and the weight of the car 2641 kilograms it's a pretty heavy car and i'm really curious to take it on the ride for a test drive to see how it feels when you drive the car this will be really really interesting so stay close if you want to see it on the road suspension independent coil spring traverse stabilizer air suspension are optional on this version and on the rear we have independent multi-link spring suspension with stabilizer and also air suspensions are optional then it comes with ventilated brake this on the front and ventilated brake this on the rear they are a little bit smaller and 22 inch rims all those stuff i will try to show you when we go outside but from my point of view i'm so impressed and a little bit excited today because this car it's pretty special if you drive this car on the street everybody will notice you at least if you buy it in europe they will be impressed with this car because it's kind of a double big as the other cars now anyway those are the most important technical data let's start the review exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion so yeah let's do it guys this is the key of the car quite nice key i like very much the way they kind of design it i like the fact that we have the cadillac logo here on the back some chrome on the key and a lot of buttons right here and you probably wonder 
what are all those buttons so it's quite simple here you lock it and unlock the car so you will see that every time you unlock the car it comes also with a nice playing light also in the front but also on the rear and i will show you also in a second how it looks on the rear another button it's for example this one here where you open the trunk but let me go in the back because there it's a little bit more interesting right so i will show you right now also the lights let me lock the car and when you unlock it you will see that it has also this nice interesting light playing that looks pretty cool and now guys check this out you see this button here this is for starting the engine when you are outside the car so if you press it two times this button you will start the engine while you are outside so check this out and right now the engine it's on i think you can hear it a little bit because it's super noisy a lot of cars are around here but you can hear it the engine it's on right now i will show you also the sound of the engine a little bit later then the other buttons are for the trunk because you are able to open not only the big trunk but you can open also the glass up there you can do it from here you just have to press it two times and right now you just unlock the glass and now you can open this huge huge glass and you can fit in there like the grocery or wherever you want to fit inside here you can fit it very simple the lights today and the place where i choose to review this car because i don't have that other option it's kind of complicated but you have to do it manually and if you want to open the completely trunk you do it from here you press it two times and right now you can open the trunk completely and it's automatically and also if you want to close it you will do it from here press it two times and you will close the trunk simple as that and super useful so this is what you can do with the key now let me turn on the lights let me put the key inside and let me talk a little bit about the exterior design now guys another cool thing when you are inside the car and you want to start the engine here is the start stop engine button and check this out check this illuminated place of the steering wheel how cool it looks and it will light up in a few colors it's so special it looks quite quite interesting anyway this is something that i want to show you i want to turn on the lights and we will go outside and i want to show you also the lights uh, the way they look and then we will go inside in the end uh, to check out the car so first of all guys look at the car look at the size of the car i don't know if you can make an idea from the video at least right now in this place because i don't have other position to film the car it's just crazy crazy big man i mean in comparison with other cars uh, there is the bmw x6 and there it's also the audi i think it's a q5 or look look how small it is man i mean look how small it is in comparison with this escalate it's just crazy big and if you drive on the street with it not only that you will be safe but you will attract a lot of views a lot of people will watch you because it's also pretty crazy hard to drive on small streets in europe for example if you go in italy or france or on some super small streets will be crazy hard almost impossible and also it's kind of hard to park the car you will probably need a parking place to to park this car and if you want to buy it i think even for me it will be hard to park it in my parking garage underground parking garage so you'll definitely need to have your own house where you have a place for this but it's so beautiful man i mean it's it stand out so much that i love the look i don't think it's a person that will say like oh i don't like this car i think everybody will love the look of the car the shape the lines the design it's super nice look at the front of the car because it's a big discussion these days about the tesla cyber track is not allowed to come in europe because of the safety reason check this out check how big is this car i don't know if someone want to hit be hit by this car because it's so tall it's almost like a like a crazy crazy bus it's 
it's so tall and I'm so small. Anyway, I'm, I'm crazy small, but look how big is this car. I mean, in comparison with myself, I'm 173 centimeters. It's a big, big car, man. I will go inside and I will show you. I can almost stay in my feet inside the car, like on the bus. But let's talk a little bit about the exterior design and the lines of the car, because from my point of view, it's a very, very attractive SUV. I love the lines. I love every single piece of the car. I'm not sure if I have something that I don't like too much. Yes, it is something, but it's, it's nothing to do with the design. And I will talk a little bit later. But in terms of design, it really looks nice. We will start with the roof where you have also that glass roof. You have the roof rails right here. And very interesting is the fact that they installed the radio antenna here in the front on the left side. Probably it is something to do with cabling and stuff like that. But I think uh, it's something to notice and to point out. Then on the middle, on the windscreen, we have the cameras for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist and all that safety features are right there in the middle. The windows are so big. I don't think I need to talk about the visibility because they are so big. Tinted windows here on the side, tinted windows on the rear. And also here, the transition between the windows, it's made with glossy plastic, piano black, look wonderful. We have the Cadillac logo here, also some glossy plastic around the edges of the windows. Super, super nice from my point of view. Some piano black here. And also this is the roof spoiler that it's also pretty nice extended in a nice sporty design. Uh, this is the brake light. And also what I like the most is that you don't have any wiper here. The same as Hyundai also add on, on the new Tucson, the wiper is hiding under the spoiler there. And also it's good for aerodynamic, but also it's much more smarter for the design. I love those lights. The lights are so big. They are, they are bigger than my hands actually. They are super big and super long and they are super visible. I like them and they are kind of a three dimensional design. You can see the turning signals, the way it looks really cool inside there. Also, you have a light on the side in the design of a Cadillac logo somehow, but it looks quite nice because it's visible from the side as well. And also looking from the back, you can see how powerful is this car. You have Escalade writing on this side and then on the other side 600, so you know which version it is. Here we have two cameras. You probably wonder why there are two cameras. One is for reverse light and one is for the mirror reverse. I will show you when I go inside. Uh, and then here you have LED lights on the number plate. And down here, six parking sensors on the rear as the same as on the front. We have some piano black down here on the on the bumper, some light reflectors. This is the exhaust pipes, two real exhaust pipes on the both sides. And also quite interesting design right here. Check this out, the other part. Another thing important to point out, it's that down here, I think this light is for the fog lamp, but down there you have also a spare tire. So if you wonder if you have a spare tire, yes, you have it. And it's under the car in the back there. I want to show you the tank, 91 liter is the tank and it's right here located on the left side. And I like the fact that you have easy fuel. That means you don't have to open any cap, you just put it in and push it. Simple as that. Love that. This is the mirror, huge mirrors. You have the blind spot technology in the corner there as well. Glossy piano black, turning signals LED. You have a camera down here, 360 degrees cameras, and you have a light in the nighttime. It will illuminate the floor. There are also folding mirrors. They will fold in and out as you open and close the doors. I like also the handles. The handles are fixed here. That means you have a button here inside. You have to press that button in order to open, unlock the car. So this is it now when it comes to doors quality i have to say they sound quite interesting the the doors you can see in the back it sounds really nice the quality it's nice in the front you see quite quite cool quality look at the front this is my favorite part on the car the front end of the car it's my favorite it looks like a big monster it's crazy crazy interesting i love the way it looks the front of the car 
it really stand out look at the grill look at the lights i think they they design it so so nice and i like the fact that it's straight out right here is just like cut it out it looks really like a like a little bit like a rolls royce from this angle i don't know it's just my opinion what do you think write me in the comment now here on the side typical for american cars you have these lights on the side so to be visible and then you have the turning signals also in a very nice three-dimensional design i really love the way they design this light and also not only that they are turning signals but also the daytime running light is down here a little bit higher you have matrix led light and i like very much the way they design it the tiny tiny lines uh, look really really cool and they are also very helpful and in the nighttime super visible uh, i tested last night and they are super cool here we have a huge grill in glossy piano black then you have the cadillac logo and down here you have a front camera for 360 degrees camera and if you look inside there you will see the radiator plus those clappers that are open and closed depending what the engine need to be warm or not six sensors on the front for all kind of safety features some piano black on the down part and yeah the number plate is located <laughs> down there uh, then when it comes to rims the rims look also nice 22 inch rims a little bit of chrome nice combination with black ventilated brake this in the front what i was worried to be honest for such a heavy car and pretty powerful car i was worried i mean the brakes should be a little bit bigger i didn't drive the car i have to drive it but the brake discs i will definitely even though they are ventilated brake discs i will definitely install some bigger ones probably for the safety but i didn't drive it i didn't i don't know how is the feeling so i have to drive it to, to say that it's just my opinion maybe i'm wrong but it is what it is and it looks nice also with 22 inch rims it's just super fine then you have this step here to go inside the car and on some cars when you have the doors close it will go inside and it will go outside but on this model i noticed that it stays always here but i saw some models where it goes in and out so you have also some piano black here like a nice element man the bonnet looks so nice look at those lines here it's so so big anyway let me go to the engine bay i want to show you the engine as well the engine it's on and even if it's on it seems to be pretty pretty silent from my point of view yeah let me see how much ah oh, yeah it's more than enough here the good part is that this is automatic you have to open it from the middle but you have a hydraulic lift gate here in the front and this is the engine this is the place where they place the engine here's the fuse box the 12 volt battery there is the engine in the middle right there and all that stuff it looks so interesting and then here's the air filter some liquid cooling and where is the wiper fluid i didn't see it until now and look at this place here look how much space it has here before the the radiator man it's so big this this engine has the biggest house uh, this is the the happiest engine <laughs> one of the happiest engine on the market because it has so much space it has the biggest house for him anyway ah here is the liquid for the wiper anyway let me close it but the quality of those elements it's very good and i like it very much from my point of view great great quality now let's go in the trunk guess guess how you open this trunk because you don't have any button here yes you guess you just press this one here bam check this out Ooh, how fancy cadillac logo open the trunk i don't even need to tell you the entrance is huge incredible huge I mean you can carry you can use this car for for carrying stuff without any problem you have the button to close the trunk the handle up here huge square entrance in the car some aluminium plate at the entrance everything it's flat very good quality here i was impressed to be honest how good quality you have around here you have hooks in every corner akg speakers great sound system now here on the right side we have the uh, here you have the how it says this like the it, you know it's like a 
12 volt port, but you can charge also the laptops, you can charge also different other elements, and this is super useful these days. You can see also this is the American style, but you can also take a converter and you can convert it to the normal socket to Europe. So that's super useful because these days it's a big trend where people really camp inside those big cars and you can camp inside this car without any problem. So probably this will be one of the best camping car that you can have. Also here the great part is that from here you can fold down the seats uh, and I will show you in a second how you can do that. Also up here you have some uh, LED lights. I like the fact that everywhere on the car you have only LED lights. And under the floor here you have some storage space, small storage space where you can put different items. Not something big, just small stuff. Now let me show you how you can fold down the seats. So for example here you have the seats in the front, the second row of seats that are right there. You have two seats. And for those seats right here, even though look at the quality, quality here wise, it's, it's very good. Now you can do it from here. You just press this button and check this out. You leave the seats down, you just press the buttons and the seats will go completely down. And the great part is that you have a completely flat floor. I love that. Look how big it is and everything is super good quality. Super, super okay. From my point of view, super spacious and you can fit in here a lot a lot of stuff it's a little bit higher of course look at this it's it's quite higher uh this area so you don't have a button here to let it down a little bit more like you have in other suvs so in order to put the stuff easier it's a little bit higher but the quality and how big it is from my point of view it's super useful love that let me show you how you fold down the other seats and first of all i want to make sure that the front seats are properly adjusted here so let me check this out i will go a little bit forward for the safety and probably i want to do that also on the other side yeah because otherwise it will hit the front seats let me go here and just pull it a little bit more straighter. I will show you and we will talk also about the seats in the front there because they are super interesting. You have just one option. You have to press the down part. So once you hold it, you can see how the seat is going all the way down. And also this one here, check this out. Ah, come on. It doesn't want to work. Yeah, now it works. And then you just press it down. Let me go there on the side to press it down a little bit. And now, check this out. Check how much space you have. Up to 3,500 liters. Everything is flat out. Crazy space here. You can carry stuff. You can put wherever you want. You can camp inside this car. You can sleep inside the car and still have some extra space to stay right there. What do you think about that? Super spacious, right? And the great part is that you can still have if you go from the side actually let me go on the other side because the sun it's against us today check this out the opening it's 90 almost 90 degrees right so the doors opening it's crazy big you have a huge entrance in the car and check this out guys check how much space you have huge entrance in the back everything is flat from here until the back, good quality around here. And you still have huge space on the legs room and you have a completely flat floor. I love that, no transmission tunnel, all that stuff down there. It's crazy, crazy spacious. And if I go inside the car, check this out. I'm here like inside, I'm here like inside the bus. I mean, you can camp here without any problem. Look how much space you have, man. I mean, I'm, I'm crazy, crazy impressed. Look at my legs, how small they are. Look how much space I have here. Crazy, man. If you want to if you, if you camp inside the car, if you want an SUV, a huge SUV, I think you can also install some, some stuff tables or stuff like that here. And you can sleep here without any problem. No matter how big you are, check this out. And I still have a lot of space. No matter how big you are, you can camp, you can stay, you can sleep inside this car without any problem. Good quality up here. Another LED lights here. Also some vents up there, vents up here. Some hooks in the corners. 
also here LED light, the vents again on the side, some hooks, the both sides, the same story. Also, you have the handle here to go inside the car. You have this beautiful glass roof that looks phenomenal. Down here, you have also the climatic system. It's also automatically, so you can set it up from here. You can set the temperature, very simple. You can turn it off, physical button, looks super, super fancy. Down here, you have two cup holders. You can put your drink, and then down there, you have two USB ports and a 12 volt port. Actually, it's a socket, 180 watt socket, and very good quality around here. The quality on the ground and everywhere here, it's just gorgeous. I'm not finished with the trunk because I want to show you one more thing. Here on the side, by the way, you have some USB ports, USB-C right here, some cup holders. Here it's soft material. I like that soft material here. Also on this side, the same story, USB-C super super nice by the way going outside of the car it's crazy easy you see you have so much space there i want to show you one more thing one more cool thing check out the seats there guys check out the seats from here you press it one more time and look look what happened oh look what happened guys what the look at this it's incredible man you can put those seats like that and you win much more space here what do you think about that? They are so, so customizable, those seats. I'm crazy impressed. And I love what this Escalade can do. And let me put this back. You can put this back in one second. You just press those buttons. You put the seats back just like that. And boom. Let me close the trunk. We don't need it anymore. You just press this button. The trunk is closed. And of course, you're curious. You have this step. You can go inside very easy escalate writing on this nice plate and this is the space in the back those are the third row that looks like a second row in most of the cars and if i go inside here without any problem i go inside here and look how much space i have i can also sit down here in the back without any problem just like that look how much space i have and i can go inside here Oh, the quality is nice. I like the seats. Leather seats feel good. And also they are quite tiny. And I'm 173 centimeters. And I still have plenty of space on my head. And I have a good comfort here. Cup holders, USB, the visibility, it's relatively fine. But I want to show you something. Let me put this seat back. Just like that. How we pull it, pull it up. No, this is down. Let me go back again. And then this one has to be up, just like that, but crazy. Look at the space, man. Look at the space there and check out the space on my knees. I mean, show me a third row seat car with, with so much space. Man, it's crazy spacious. Love it. Love it. Top. And if you go in the middle, I don't even need to tell you. You just stay like that because you can put the seats back this one just like that put it back in the position you have also those armrests and i'm like in an airplane here you feel like in an airplane i mean you can drive long trips stretch the legs crazy spacious one of the i think is the spacious third row seats i ever test and even if it has here another seat look how much space i still have on my knees crazy you can have free individual person here without any problem growing up persons love it top notch and the quality down it's super nice you can also take your shoes off when you go inside the house because this is like a house big let me go inside on this seat this is kind of my driving position there probably a little bit too much in the back but i'm going oh man oh boy those seats are much more comfy wow they are soft and plushy i like that look at them you have the cadillac sign here you have these perforated seats isofix you can install child seats here you have isofix in the back no you don't have isofix in the back but you have child seats here isofix here and the seats are nice i love them also the armrest it feels cool man they are so comfy they are soft, you know, like a sofa. You know that leather sofa when you sit down in it? It feels so good and so relaxing. And you can adjust the seats from here. 
just like that you can go back and forward like this and you can choose to have a lot of space in the front and also less on the back a lot of space on my head super spacious soft material here on the doors great visibility big windows handle here nothing to complain i really love it man i really love it and you can also adjust this part how cool is that you can even sleep here i can stretch my legs a little bit in the front and i can sleep here in the back crazy spacious if you want a super super comfortable suv this might be the one for you love it you can adjust it like that man i really like what they did with this car love the way it looks love the way it feels the quality wise it's also great and we will go in the front we will talk about the multimedia the dashboard everything in the front there but the dashboard looks so nice so futuristic i like the way they designed the the multimedia system it's somehow modern and somehow unique because they didn't add just one piece they kind of split it in two there and i will show you in a second but overall it looks very very nice and very modern anyway let's go in the front let's go in the front guys also it's right escalate here on the center man i go out so easy from this car but before we go in the front i want to say a few words about the door here you have this kind of wood fakely uh, wood design in black it looks nice some chrome soft material leather here leather here you have the speaker here some leather leather the button for the windows uh, that doesn't work right now i think it's locked you can lock and unlock the the doors good quality on the handle this is the speaker some storage space here and here you have some plastic in this area but overall good quality on the doors as well let's go in the front to see the quality on the front doors and right here you can see how big uh, the entrance is in the car also uh, the same as in the back the same quality leather up here the same trim here with some chrome super good quality here 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 the handle lock and unlock you have ventilated seats heated seats up and all up and down and then you have here the buttons for the windows so from here you can fold down the windows and yeah let me show you something on the other side man they are so big you need to wait a little bit until they fall down i want to fall down the window in the back to see how much they fall down so they fall down completely here as expected let me put it back they look so nice so fancy this car is crazy fancy from here you can save the position of the seats electric adjustable mirrors fold and uh, open and here is soft material down here some plastic storage space and this is the speaker escalate at the entrance those are the pedals normal pedals from here you open the front and then here you have the electric adjustable seats from here you can adjust the seats in the front and the seats are the same good quality look at the glass roof it looks so so cool in combination with the interior and the seats look wonderful they are the same as on the rear and they are the same comfortable as on the rear they are super super soft i love the seats man and you have the cadillac logo there a little bit on the higher part on the headrest you have speakers here with some chrome they look so unique and so cool and then you have side support side support super nice seats here we have the brake for the trailer like in the usa in europe we don't have that but in usa you can choose here how you want to have it and then you have electronic handbrake uh, the brightness of the screen here you put it on auto you can put it on auto from here yeah let me let me start it one more time uh, because the car didn't see the key i have to go i have to go up inside to start the engine here's the start stop engine button once you start the engine i can close the door actually you saw how nice it looks when you start the car and you can see this uh, led light here that warn you from time to time when you drive the car for example you drive with cruise control and it warn you for lane assist emergency brake and all that stuff it also light up sometimes that's super cool 
huge mirrors and the mirrors not only that they're big but they are a little bit zoom in so that means it's magnified the things in the back so it shows you the cars and the uh, objects a little bit bigger so you can see farther away but they are huge the huge are also windows so the visibility around the windows around the windscreen it's super super big so you don't have to worry about the visibility the only worry that you should have in terms of visibility it's in this mirror because you, you barely see something in the back there so let me show you this is the way you see it normally but the good part is that i show you there are two cameras in the back and you have a camera that you can adjust from the mirror and you can go more bright, less bright and you can change plus and minus you can go up and down and you have a few settings there to choose from and this is super super useful I love this mirror with the camera this is crazy useful at least for this car you have handle up here, good quality, microphone here you have plenty of uh, visibility in this vanity mirror plus those LED lights up here you have also some buttons some microphones the position for the trunk you can open it less or more depending in which area you are if you're parking in a underground garage and it's not so tall up there you can choose to have less opening and then you can fold down the seats from here in the back you have LED lights up here you can slide the glass roof from here so let me show you you can open this glass roof guys and the glass roof it's so big and the opening it's actually huge look at this I mean you can you can go with your heads out there and this is freaking nice and you can put it back and you have also the options to close this part yeah you can see right now just like that you can make completely dark or you can leave it wherever you want to leave it you can choose that yourself so this is also super super useful from my point of view in the middle center armrest it's huge escalade you have a button you open this up here you can get it you see that led light when you open it in this position the led will light up this area in the nighttime look great you have some storage space here that can uh, actually move around forward backward super simple like that also you have USB-C USB 2 you have also here the charging check this out and then you have so much space 12 volt port here with LED you can take this out and you have a huge space and you can get it optional with the fridge here in this area if you want to and then the same trim around here and you have some storage space here where I have the key, some space here, some space here where I put my phone in this area. It's so much space down there. And you have also physical buttons and I love that. Uh, you have hazard light, you have also the controller for the multimedia system while you're driving. You don't have to go and use the touch screen. You can use these controllers here much safer when you're driving. And you have also the knob for the volume and also the car information if you press this button it gets you directly to the information of the car and you have all the settings i will show you in a second and then here you have the navigation so you press this button it gets you directly to the navigation system here we have those stalk to change the gears you can go in reverse parking drive low and if you go in reverse let me show you press this button on the side you can see the reverse camera and the reverse camera it's awesome i will show you later more information about it then you have right here the auto hold function great stuff start stop engine button lane assist then you have the start stop button stop material leather here uh the glow box is relatively fine also good quality inside there i like it then the vents are nice integrated into the dashboard the quality it's fine and also here soft material speakers up there head-up display directly on the windshield you can see it right there quite nice and you can also control it from around here i want to show you the steering wheel it has electric adjustable buttons here under in the left side so you can adjust it electrically in every position you want and i love that also the grip on the steering wheel it's great it has leather and the grip it's super super nice and also i love the way it looks with a little bit of chrome the cadillac logo physical button for cruise control heated steering wheel and those are all the controllers in this area for the cruise control and autopilot voice command here 
and then you'll have also the lane assist for autopilot for super cruise control they call it it's a nice nice autopilot that all the car to drive kind of itself and stuff like that i will show you that also you have some pedals here from where you can change the gears if you want to have some fun with the car you have also some sensors in the front for uh, safety and look how cool is the let's talk a little bit about the screens in the back look it's split in two you have a separate screen this is the head-up display and here on the side you have some controllers from where you can control different items for example I like that very much to be honest I didn't see in other cars for example you go to head-up display and you can choose the height and the brightness of the head-up display and then you have this uh, possibility to choose what you like to see on the cockpit so you have the gauge you have the map you can see the map fully map on the screen in the front and you can see the AR cameras that mean you have a front camera and you can see right here on the big screen it's a huge screen you can see what happened in the front but in the same time you have also the RPM that shows you down here in the corner and you can hear the engine uh, super super interesting and the resolution of the camera is quite great it's kind of watching here and driving the car I think is the first car that have such a big screen with the front camera that probably you're all to drive only by looking in the screen like you're watching TV. Also, some cars come with an options to see in the night time, then you will have an extra option here. And then you have the consumption here. For those of you that are wondering what is the consumption of the car, the real consumption on the last 18,298 kilometers, 17.7 consumption. Oh, that's good. I didn't expect that. So they kind of claim that, but it is true wow that's nice i was expect uh, 20 or over 20 so oh that's nice down here i love the fact that we have physical button for the climatic system control climatic control physical button and it feels so so smooth and soft and the quality it's nice impressive love that and then you have also this vent in the middle i like it man i, I really like here in this area it shows you all the errors that the car have and I like that. Not only that you can use the touch screen, but you can use also the controller from the middle. And I will show you, I will use the controller in the middle. It's much more easier for you to see. And you have shortcuts here on the side, like home, like media. When you go to home, you have all the uh, settings right here. Let me turn off the volume. Uh, when you go to home, you have all those pages. For example, first page with navigation, phone, connectivity, and also parking stuff right here parallel parking the car have parking assist so it helps you park that's cool because it's a big car some uh, for some people will be complicated to park so you have the park assist that's great if you go to second page you have audio navigation uh, phone vehicle information rear climatic system from here you can control the climatic system from the rear so actually you can turn it on off and you can control there in the back then you have wi-fi you have hotspot on the Wi-Fi this is also a great function then you have settings those are the main settings display sound voice conversation and look how nice it goes on the side it's not doesn't slide right it's uh, straight it's slide a little bit left so it's really interesting language you can change from their software update and really cool and then you go to vehicle you have the 10 driver you have all kind of super cruise control lane changing automatically uh, driver mode customization from here you can change different driving modes and you have collision detect system comfort and convenience lightning uh, power door lock and so so on so many safety features from the vehicle you find it around here to change it then let me go back to the page no where were i here and then we go to the second page and then the third page ah by the way you can connect where are I? you can connect android auto and apple carplay without any problem to the car i will try to make a separate video to show you that then you have the trailer a lot of settings for the trailer as well and this is very useful then you have the apps all the apps you have it around here but you have to connect it to the internet and when you go to the apps here you have alexa you have all my cadillac uh, and all that stuff plus you have the cameras and i want to show you the cameras you can see a wide normal overhead side camera because you have 360 degrees camera but you can see back front and not only rear wait wait a second 
but you can see also 360 degrees cameras and I'm not sure why it's not working right now. Ah, yes, it's working right now. Look at this. You can see 360 degrees what happened around the car. So this is crazy useful. I mean, for such a big car, it's crazy useful to see what happened around the car. You have Sirius and all that stuff. So useful, useful, useful things here. Then we have the vehicle information. If you go to vehicle information, you have all that settings of the car from oil pressure to, let me start with the first, notification if the car has some errors you have the oil life tire pressure you have also economy the consumption and stuff like that efficient gauge here and if you open this you can see that you can show in a cluster in instrument cluster average speed timer you have information about the car how it's positioned and then you have also the oil pressure trailer brake you can choose from here and you can adjust it yourself colon temperature transmission fluid temperature air filter life and so on and there there are so many cool useful features that you can find it then you have the telephone navigation rear all that stuff you saw it before and if you come to the last page you have the apps that you saw before like alexa camera ambient lights and by the way let me go to the ambient light i don't know if i can show you right now but in the nighttime it looks great you have some colors here from which you can choose and every time you choose those colors look look how nice they are you have some ambient light on the dashboard and on the front door around there in that area and it looks quite quite nice in the night time but other than that really interesting really simple stuff uh the navigation as well it's pretty nice i, I don't know why it's not working right now but it should working it should center and work but in general i hope i cover everything guys i don't know if it's something that i didn't cover you can just write me in the comment if you still have question i will stop the engine right now and that was the video guys so if you still have question if you want to ask something i will wait your question down below in the comments i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from here from my point of view one of the most practical suv on the market and if the consumption is true 17.7 .7, i think it's quite fine for how big is the car and what this car offer and it's a really interesting car if you want to drag attention to you if you want to people watch you when you drive on the street if you want to feel special if you want to feel safe because it's such a tall car it's crazy safe and crazy practical and you can camp inside the back without any problem i think it's it's a great great car what do you think about the car write me in the comment i'm really curious to hear your opinion uh, if you have feedbacks if you have information if you own the car if you hear something about the car have problem or not or i really love to hear your feedbacks in the comment down below if you want to see the car if you want to buy the car you can cam at pro motors in bucharest guys i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are very nice and they will help you with every single question you have don't forget to like share subscribe that will mean a lot for me so thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos stay close if you want to see it also on the road for a test drive that would be really interesting and i'm looking forward to take it for a test drive so that was the video thanks a lot for watching guys stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys